indicated on last week, Pastor Michelle, with that brilliant effect, spoke <laughs> on the subject, not one, but many. That's right. And she talked about the New Testament church, Corinth, <clears throat> the many members and the gifts that were given mm -hmm. in that congregation, how one person, you don't have a whole bunch of hands. That's right. Everybody is not the hand. That's right. Everybody is not the head. Everybody is not the feet. That we're all different members, mm -hmm. just like you have different parts of your body. Imagine having two left hands, mm -hmm. one left, one here, one left and here. Two left hands is hard to clap, isn't it? <laughs> and, uh, so, 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 <laughs> so she talked about not one, but many. And, and at the end of her exposition, <laughs> she uh, indicated that, and in and, and Paul's writings at the end, it says, yet I show unto you a more excellent way. way. Yes. Or a more perfect way. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and in that she introduced love as being the counter measure, the counteractor, the, the thing that balances everything out. A lot of folk got gifts and talents and what holds all of the body together yeah. is love. That's right. What keeps the hand from becoming the head, what keeps the feet in its place. Is love That's right. in the body of Christ. All right, let me move. <clears throat> How do you measure up? <clears throat> you see on this slide a uh, facsimile or a little handwritten report card. Some of you remember getting one similar to this in school. Mm -hmm. uh, handed you one out that was handwritten. Mm before they got computers and typewriters and all of this stuff. And uh, usually there were three subject, three core areas. Uh, Brother Deacon, how, how about the three things that they taught, right? The three R's, you call them reading, writing, and arithmetic. Uh, of course, and the, us smart Alex know that arithmetic is not with an R. It doesn't begin with an R, but they always said the three R's. Mm -hmm. And what I remember, what I remember, and what I remember was that one of the things that were on that was on the report card in addition to reading and writing and arithmetic, <clears throat> your language and all of this stuff was uh, a couple of areas, one called conduct mm -hmm. for you younger folks, y'all remember citizenship. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if they even have those as core areas anymore where they actually grade you. But <clears throat> but those were part of the process. Right. Do y'all see me? Yeah. <laughs> and I gotta tell you a little story behind that. See the knot on my head? Right there? <laughs> I remember all of my life my brother throwing a rock and hitting me in the head, you know. And uh, so anyway, when I saw this picture, I said, I didn't realize that was the first grade that he threw that rock. I mean, he threw it across some trees. And so he didn't know I was over there just being a fool, you know. But, uh, but it hit me in the head, and so... Uh, of course, when something happens, you know, you always, all of you have one child. All right. That when something happens, you know who you did it. Right. <laughs> there is no question as to who did But I have a knot, a really nice knot that's still on my head. And now that my memory has cleared up, I owe it more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyway, this is my first grade. How many of you still have one of these? My first grade picture. I had to, actually, this is a copy of a copy of, I don't know how many other copies, but you can make who I, make out who I am. <clears throat> but our report cards look something like this. This is Alaska, but it just overlooked that. But they look something like this. Only we had actually A's and B's instead of S's and U's, satisfactory and unsatisfactory. The days that of class, how many days you missed, the days that you were tardy, conduct, uh, writing, and 
all of those different areas that they wanted you to be, that you were to be proficient in before you receive your last report card, which usually indicated that you were promoted or held back, mm -hmm. you know. And nobody <coughs> wanted to take one home that had held back on it, didn't they? In fact, if it had an F on it, some of us got good at handwriting, and we find out a way to turn that F. <laughs> I says, Kiki, I can't believe you laughing. If you're ahead of me, why are you ahead of me? Turn that F into an A, or at least make it believable, you know. <laughs> make it somewhat believable. But we remember getting these as children. And today, I want to kind of present to you a report card. What would it be like today if I were receiving a report card? The question is, where you at? Mm. Are you where God wants you to be? Are you positioned to receive what he has for you? Are you positioned to become what he wants to become? what he wants you to be? Are you positioned to do what God wants from you? He wants something from all of us. Yeah. Uh, something we should be doing. And, and, and so you miss all of this if you're not where God wants you to be. That's right, amen. You, you can't get the marks, you can't get the grades That's right. if you're not in class. That's right. Can't get the grades if you're in the wrong class. Yeah, you're right. Amen? Amen. And so you have to evaluate it, and that's what the Apostle Paul is. He says, you have to honestly examine. Am I even trying? Mm. Am I hitting a lick at the same? Am I putting forth in the enough effort? Am I putting the effort in the right areas? Mm -hmm. And so there are some key questions with that. <clears throat> One, some of you may have seen these. How much did we grow in the year before? Mm -hmm. How much did, honestly, and, and those aren't something that somebody else can answer for you. That's right. Mm -hmm. Paul says, uh, we don't want to appear to folk like we, so, we're trying to be all that. All right. <laughs> and be an abject failure on the inside. That's right. Amen. It's one thing for me to present <laughs> success to you. Mm-hmm. But if I don't have success on the inside of me, I'm not going to really be effective That's right. at presenting. That's right. I'm just putting on the front. Mm -hmm. I'm just making light. Mm -hmm. Y'all you know, know, make light. All right. Pretend. <laughs> All right. A pretender. How much did we grow in the last 10 years? Mm. Again, depending on where you're at, all of success has to do with where you're at. That's right. Can't get a check from a job if you ain't. If okay. I'm not on the job, all right, all right. right, that's right. Or I show up mm -hmm. yes. and don't do the job. Yes, and they're right. Mm -hmm. that's right. All right. So how much did we grow in the last ten years? How much did you attend church in 2013? These are honest questions. Do you look forward to being at church? Mm -hmm. Right. Does church? Does your church accept? you and challenge you to grow. Mm -hmm. Now some folk, I, honestly, that church is, they don't care as long as Bring them money. I, I put in my money. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't really care whether or not I'm growing or not. Mm -hmm. Whether I'm doing well. Hmm. You know, if, if I miss a few months but I still send in my money, uh -huh. you know, and nobody going to call, check on me or, or, or let alone come call and see, when can I come see you, okay? Uh, and so does your church accept you? <laughs> accept you is more than just a brazen, ah, I see you here. All right. <laughs> All I right. see you here. Mm. And the reason I see you because you're in my seat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so does your church accept you and challenge you to grow? Mm. Challenging. Sometimes you say some things in challenging people that are not popular. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, and, and, and you have to do that. You can't be a, a boss mm. 
and be everybody's friend. That's right. Do I have witnesses? They better you, say that. you are the foreman. You are in charge. You're the supervisor. You're the leader. And everybody's your friend. They ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> they gonna laugh and talk. Huh. And you gonna next thing you know, they gonna fire you because you were in charge. Yeah. yeah. Everybody else still had their job, <laughs> and they hadn't bothered to call to see if you need a biscuit. All right. <laughs> All right. And they're right. You're right. So you good know. guys make unchallenging bosses. Mm. You know?